Today we're gonna make a bunch of, of gimlets using gin, because that's how gimlets are, with different types of lime product, including Rose's Lime Cordial. Stay tuned to know if this should go up your ass or not. Or watch it and figure out why you're making your gimlet incorrectly. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Mm. That's solid advice. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Welcome right. to Combat Cocktails. Yeah. This is Derek, that's Dan, that's Ian. This is a deconstruction of the gin gimlet. Or just the gimlet. That was a very Cosby opening. Yeah, there's a That was me make a not lot knowing what I was gonna say. This I, is a deconstruction a lot of the of gin gimlet with the gin in the line. Little gelatin. Um, I'm gonna do two cocktails over here. I don't even have a shaker. You tell. I, I do. will find a shaker oh. and I will create a cocktail over here. Here's the, here's the recipe breakdown. Two ounces of gin, half ounce of simple syrup, half ounce of fresh lime juice, that's the first one. The second one, we're gonna do a second one like it, but it's gonna be two and a half ounces of gin, half half. Just because I'm curious, that's a liquor.com version versus the recipe.awesomegrace.com version. I'm always looking for the better one. Over here, Dan's gonna be using rose. Rose's lime juice to make a gimlet. Three, this is the third one. It's two ounces of gin, one ounce of Rose's lime cordial. Uh, and mine is going to use Morgan Thaler's Roses. I can probably make yours too. Probably. Roses Cordial, Morgan Thaler's Lime Cordial recipe that he invented and designed. Um, hey. Give me, give me two too. I, I can't edit you guys out. Because it's loud. Um, two ounces of gin, one ounce of, uh, I'll put rose lime cordial for both of them, but this is more than I for sure. You know what, you can make it, I will tell them what they need to do to make this if they All can right. make it. This, I can make it. This right here is, I'm going to do it ML, everything's an ML straight up, just get used to this. 250 milliliters of sugar, which is about 8 ounces, close. Okay. 240 milliliters of hot water, so you're making a simple syrup. Mm-hmm. Um, 45 milliliters of lime juice, which is a little more than an ounce. 45 milliliters of the lime's peel. So you just weigh it in milliliters. 30 milliliters of citric acid, Wait, which is a powder. You weigh it in milliliters? I, I weigh it in milliliters, yeah. No? This does milliliters. Hey, wait, it does milliliters? Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah, is that right? Mil hmm. ML? The M ML is kind of like a measurement of volume. Yeah, liquid. Oh, yeah, I understand, yeah, oh. but if you do, you know how many, you know what the, the difference between milliliters and grams are? With, with a specific gravity of nothing like water, nothing. But with everything else, there's a difference. <laughs> no. Remember our whole density? Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, this sounded weird. I weighed out so many milliliters. <laughs> no. Right. I weighed out a volume on a scale in the milliliter. By weight. By weight. Yeah. Uh, I did it in grams. And I'm sure the there's a scientist somewhere there that's watching us saying, yeah. and this, what did this he just say? Morgan no. Lawler did, so I just set the units the same. What do you do? So you can get citric acid on Amazon or anywhere else. I'll try to remember to put a link below if you want to get some citric acid. Um, I use it to help clean out my still. You can clean copper with it, polish stuff with it, uh, make um, gummy candies if you want to. What? What are you talking about? Citric acid. Oh, citric acid. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Sour Patch Kids. I talking about milliliters or something. <laughs> Okay. Yes, you can make candy with milk. Yes. So <laughs> that's the that you can already tell is the roses version because it always yeah. looks like right. that. Um, so this product, which by the way now comes in plastic instead of glass. Oh, so it's the two and a half, and that's the little two ounces. You can tell, yeah, because it's a little bit heavier or bigger. This one's high. Yeah, I like poured more into that one, I guess. So yeah, we're, that's how we'll differentiate. Uh, <laughs> so um, this is the two and a half. This is two and one and two. Three and four. Yeah. So ro roses lime concentrate. This is uh the ingredients of this are water, high fructose corn syrup, lime juice concentrate, sodium something crazy, a bunch of preservatives. Stuff you probably shouldn't yellow, use. Yellow five, blue one. Um, on, it's classic gimlet though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's made for. Sulfites. Yeah. So those are the recipe breakdowns. I don't know how to get them on the screen, but we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, you want to taste them? Yeah. I, mean, I can break. Through. This is number one. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's less. So that, this cocktail we've done in the past, there's a video over here. Um, you can watch the video, me and Dan make this, and go through the history of the gimlet with all the scurvy and stuff that goes on in there. Um, scurvy. 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 Yeah, the, the, the reason the whole Scur idea of having this 
is uh, lime is good to stop scurvy, but you need a way to stabilize it. So you could either stabilize in alcohol or you could stabilize in sugar. Roses, the guy who invented it, uh, went with sugar. So that's just more gin, right? Yep. Yeah. That's the only difference. But we well, tend to some more gin. We, yeah, really. we tend to go gin heavy on things. So I was curious on if this this is liquor.com versus that one. Which one do you think is better? Um That one brings out the gin more. Yeah. Um that one tastes more like a daiquiri. But with gin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean they're really close. I mean you I mean it's subtle, like it's like really subtle. Yeah. The amount Arguably of Arguably wouldn't make that much of a difference unless you no. want a more boozy drink. Yeah. I could I could go with that. You got a bigger cup, put two and a half in. <laughs> Three, six, yeah. you don't twenty-two. Want to, you don't want to get fucked don't up. Don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is your classic gimlet. The way it was designed back in the day. I think it even calls for roses in some of the old books. Definitely sweeter. I would hope. Yeah. Ooh. Can you taste the yellow number five? No, but I don't like it. It's bitter. It is. Oh, it, it, Ian didn't get to suck on that one yet. No. It's got a, like a. Ooh, it like ends. It's got. Does that have citric acid? That shit is bitter. I don't think it's that bitter. It's, it's, it's got a bitter. It's a little tart. <clears throat> it's got like tart. a weird taste at the end. Yeah, the uh, it makes you like flow up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. It's reminiscent. I of think the I'm Detroit getting, Athletic Club. I think I'm getting like. Mm. like oh, yeah, no, it doesn't have the throw up taste of it. No, no. Mm. Nah, that was vile. <laughs> That one's good. This is the homemade version of the cordial. If you like lime. Mm. Oh, the cordial's good. Mm. It's just definitely more lime. Yeah, it's lime heavy. Yeah. Um, bitter. So it keeps, it retains some of the bitterness, but more on lime forward flavor. That's really limey. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I like the concept of this stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how else I can use it. Mm. But with the same balance. You put your coffee, you put your breakfast. Yeah, with, uh, margarita. Well, coffee and citrus go well Mar together. Yeah. That, that and margarita, I think, would be good. Because I I, this, using you think this. too much? Yeah, no, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, that. I, I thought it was like an, oh. Yeah, you have to see me to understand. Oh, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great visual bumble interpretation. So the, the, these ones should be, it's two to one. Mm. So it's two ounces of gin and one ounce of roses. Or you know what you could do? Two and a half. Yeah, you have to bump up the alcohol. If you did two and a half to one of those, it'd be good. Or so I still like quarters. if I if these are the two options, I'd rather have this. Mm. Yeah. Um, because it doesn't. That taste I wouldn't like, have. It doesn't taste like bad. Like that tastes like a bad drink you get like at a fancy restaurant that thinks they know how to make cocktails, but they fucking don't. <laughs> right. Pretty much. I can't. That like fancy that is from the bar program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the perfect example of that yeah. taste of it. Like, it is. You walk in and they're like, oh, we make I specialty can taste, cocktails. I can taste what you're no, saying. You don't. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, See? You can pick anything. Whiskey sour. Yeah. You get any of those yes. things. That is, that is, you get a whiskey sour, it doesn't be browner than that, but it'll have the same taste. You're yeah. like, every drink you make, it'll say, it'll yeah. taste the same. Because it's just that you're adding that shit to it. I spent three dollars on this just for this one drink. This is, I don't, I don't even know what I do with it now. You have to refrigerate this. Don't leave him. He'll drink it. Yeah, it's just, like, I don't know. Please drink responsibly. Throw that shit away. It's no alcohol. It's no alcohol. I don't understand. Well, how we, it, drink responsibly. Don't put this in your mouth. Because they know you add it to alcohol. That's the only thing yeah. you do at Roses. Yeah, it's always in the, in the section with the rest it of the It definitely mixers. gives it, like, it gives it that, like, stale taste. Yeah, like, and, it, and, like, you get, like, a It's flip. a bad drink taste. Mm -hmm. When you look at it and you're like, oh, you know, it doesn't look bad. And then you drink and you're like, fuck. You know what this tastes like to me? This tastes like, uh tastes like... This tastes like that uh, that vodka sugar drink there, the uh, lemon, lemon head. Or what is it? Lemon drop? Yeah. This tastes yeah. like the lemon drop in a lime form. Like if you took the lemon we drop. We have navy strength, it's Jim. It's a lime drop? What the hell? Look at that, see? Did it, did it just fall on your foot or mm -hmm. you didn't happen to see it? Just see it. Oh. Yeah, you could, you could use navy <laughs> you know strength. You under your bar. <laughs> you could use navy strength for <laughs> But this has like if this was a lemon drop, it would be a lime drop. Like if you, it, it's got the same yes. like sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would. The tart but mm. sweet. Like it's got a lot of sweet, but yet at the same time your mouth's like, there's a lot of lime in here. Like this is, this tastes like what happens when you make something like which is what is done with the peels, right? This takes the. Yeah. I had to. Sh I have to literally, you know, take a lemon peel or lemon peeler. Zest. Uh, zest. Yeah, zester or I use the potato peeler. 
peel them yeah. all off, blend them up, it makes this weird, massive gross, and then you filter it off. So if there's not peel in there, but you know when you slice it, you're getting the oils and, and all that craziness that's super bitter. It's a lot to do to make sugary lime juice. Yeah, it didn't take that long. It, the measuring was the hardest part because it was in milliliters <laughs> and it was it's solids. But the, the the thing that was a Those little- are solid? I, no, but that's, <laughs> yes, yeah, besides that. Wait a minute. Look, look, yeah. look, I can tell. You put this here, right? You use right? machine that says ML or MG on Yes, yeah, so it says ML. So, that is 672 milliliters of jar. I doubt it. <laughs> well, it is. I bet if you displace that in water, it will not be that much. Stop with your <laughs> fucking science. <laughs> None of that matters. It should just place that amount of water in dirt. Well, it's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about displacing in water. <laughs> At the, yeah. the, I don't know. None of, <laughs> none of that was the surprising thing. The surprising thing to me was how much fucking sugar 250 milliliters is. Mm. See, like that's it's a good one. eight ounces or a cup or whatever. Yeah. I think it's a little bit more than a cup. You're still on that? So you, I don't know. No, this whole most of where it is right here was about where it was with sugar. Yeah, and, and I was like, that's a lot of sugar in there, but you don't use that much in the. No, when you think simple syrup, right? You got to have yeah, it's that's half sugar, right? Right. It, it's it, when I when I balance it out against the eight ounces of hot water, I was like, <laughs> oh, that's it's really just simple syrup. <sighs> no, mom. Fuck. Anyway, um, so that, my friends, if I had to select the Gimlet, I still fall back to this. This one's, I, I, I think it tastes like a little bit like candy. I'm Ooh. starting to grow on me. You don't, still? No, now it's not, it like gets you after a while. You're like, ooh, that's <laughs> a lot of lime. Like now? Yeah, like, oh. Hold on. It oh, adds now. up, it just keeps adding. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me. Um, it's just a sweet and it's tangy at the same time. Like my, my mouth's like dancing. Well, because it's, it's sweet. It's right. good. I mean, yeah. I'm saying margarita. Oh, yeah. Or well, some uh, people get yeah. sick of dancing sooner than other people. <laughs> you can make a fast margarita sure. because it's done. You don't need sugar or anything. Yeah, you don't need anything. Just uh, where's that tequila? Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I would suggest this for average people. This is a neat, fun experiment. I would balance it higher on the alcohol and just never spend the $3 on that bullshit. No. Uh, this is going to cost you more than $3 if you break it out. You know, with the citric acid, and even if you break out by weight, it's probably still six dollars for that, right? Still, so more just make this. those. <laughs> yeah, just use just use the fucking line. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> lessons, <laughs> lessons. It's I'm all beefing up, but it's, it's no weights. <laughs> all right, um, <laughs> hey, <some> burgers. <laughs> if, if you guys are interested, besides subscribing, which you obviously should be doing, and clicking the join button, which you should obviously be doing. Um, you could always go to AustinRace.com and buy stuff. So I didn't I didn't have a coupon code this year, this year, this month. I just put a bunch of stuff at like reduced price. So like if you so looking, just start buying shit. The easiest thing to do, AustinRace.com and click on sale items. But at Bitter Cube, Bitterman, oh, not Bitterman, it's Bitter Cube. What's the other company that has Bitter in the name? Bitter Cube, Bitter End, Fee, and Royal Road Syrup. I reduced the price by like half because I just want to. Move them out of the store. Um, <laughs> what the hell so, Eric? It, people what aren't buying my shit. So I'm like, I got all this stuff. I'm like, you gotta go. You just go. People buy bartender kits and coupe glasses. That is it. Bartender kits and coupe glasses. You I guys sell need to... cases of these stupid... These? All day long. Well, everybody needs a coupe. No, the difference is these, if you type classic or classic coupe into Google, I'm like, number one. Everything else, not number one. So I don't get sales. Yes or no on Rose's line? No on no. Rose's line. Crime Stoppers wanted to. Uh, no, on Rose's Put line. it up your ass. It's bad. No. Don't actually do that. That's That was just for... Hard no. Yeah. Illustrative purposes. I would, Dan does... Yes, Dan you does. You don't recommend no. lime juice enemas is what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> buy or not buy? Not buy. <laughs> I do not recommend lime juice enemas. Now, with this, though. Oh. Your yes. bumpy sm smelling sweet. And dancing. And dancing. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be puckering. Yeah. <laughs> Starfish in all the ways. So, there you go. Sidebar, more videos down below is the bartender, the, the bartender starter kit at AustinRace.com, which is probably why I sell so much. But there it is. Get you but once you have the kit, get no. all the other shit. No kit for you! You gotta buy all of them. You gotta buy all the kits together. You, get, you gotta do the kit with Seven bitters. Kits. Oh, you know, I never turned mm. on that. 